All right, we're on it. What is up everyone on YouTube? Starboy Daz back with another video. This time, 15 spring slash summer outfits. Wanted to give you guys a little switch up, but I still don't want this video to be too long. So we're gonna go and try to get through these kind of quickly. But everything in today's video will be linked down below if it is in stock. And with that being said, let's get started with the first outfit. First outfit, I definitely wanted to try to play with different colors. So up top, I have on one of my favorite tees, this bootleg Vince's Tupac tee. The only thing stopping this tee from being my favorite would be the lack of a back graphic. But besides that, the front is still dope. Moving down, got on some nylon shorts in that turquoise colorway. Wanted to go with that pop of color and then moving on, got to go on one of my favorites as of lately, the Cardinal 3s. something i've never done before on this channel which is put on a button front shirt i always liked this aesthetic just never got around to putting together an outfit with it but for a change i have on a still gray button front shirt these shirts are perfect for layering during the season tank top under for a better look i could have always threw on like a regular plain white tee but i feel like the tank top just makes it stand out a little bit more moving down we went with these flex dickies one of my go-to super simplistic and easiest style and of course it wouldn't be a vibe without the forces this is the toe free pair Outfit number three, I felt like I needed to go with something that's easy to replicate but still clean. For the top, I have on this white basic tee along with this tie flannel. This is like a practical accessory because I could always untie the flannel, throw it on, and give the outfit a different look. And now for the cargos, honestly, you can never go wrong with a good pair of cargos. And with these, I love the Y2K aesthetic that it gives off. And to end it all, the 550s. These were big last year, and I feel like these are going to be even crazier this year, especially with that new ALD collab. Switching to something a little bit more vibrant, this Pop Smoke long sleeve. This right here is going to get some heavy wears during this season. I love the front hit as well as the back hit. I feel like that right there is super dope. And I think it's actually one of the better Pop Smoke tees I've seen. Then moving down, perfect pants for the season, the North Face Convertible Cargos. Super comfortable, lightweight, and breathable. And the fact that you can turn these into shorts just make it perfect for the times. Then for the sneakers, Metallic Forest can't go wrong with these for spring slash summer. This is an example of why I feel like the Convertible Cargos from North Face has to be the best pants for that spring slash summer time. Unzipping the bottom half, you get a nice five inch inseam pair of cargo shorts that works perfectly with this quarter zip from Nautica. One of my latest thrift finds, nice oversized tee under for layering purposes, the bootleg Birkenstocks and a few accessories to complete the outfit. Three fits with these same pants are kind of crazy to me, but adding a tote bag, removing a quarter zip, throwing on my favorite dunks, the dusty olives, really changes the whole look of this fit. Let me know what you guys think. Sticking with the shorts theme, Nike woven shorts have been a solid pair of shorts everyone needs, and in this rose gold colorway, it makes them even more of a need. A nice unique colorway that adds to any outfit as a complementary color or a contrasting color, as shown in this outfit right here. Gotta go with the Fire Air 4 is my favorite model and colorway of all time. Really works well with the shorts, and what brings it all together has to be this dope hockey tee with a clean front and back hit. Now for the perfect spring outfit, an eye-catching orange overshirt from Abercrombie & Fitch, a white tee under to really make that shirt pop, and holding everything together, the chino pants. Personally, my go-to, I really feel like chino pants are a good versatile pair of pants to own, and these are from Vans, but they're pretty much sold anywhere. Now for the sneakers, I feel like it's only right to end things off with a classic look. The Kim Jones Converse has a good balance between a high-end aesthetic and a retro vibe. for layering purposes during the hotter climates is a lightweight coach's jacket mine is from walmart got this a long time ago these jackets are great because it's pretty much just a water repellent shell white tee under as always needs some kind of essential tees for those lazy days then classic 505 levi's works in any season and of course the shadow ones just a timeless sneaker in my opinion
catering more to the summertime, more louder pieces are allowed. So I have on this floral print pair of shorts. Really don't get to rock these as much as I want, but the floral graphic is cool, complements the forces perfectly with the varsity gold colorway. And since the shorts are the statement piece in this outfit, I gotta keep it simple up top. So I have on this white premium Nike tee. Sticking with the bright theme for summer, I have on this electric green Harley Davidson tee. Love this tee, especially with the back hit. I feel like that right there really makes the tee 10 times better. But of course, gotta go ahead and keep it simple on the bottom. So nylon shorts and this cream colorway from Urban Outfitters, a good option for this summer. And ending it all, the toll-free Air Force Ones, I feel like there wasn't a better option. Taking a step back, Cozy Vibes is always gonna be there. So of course, I had to throw in the Flare sweatpants from Reputation Studios. I really do love these sweats. Super clean, comfortable, and they work perfectly with bulky sneakers. And speaking of sneakers, I have on a Gym Red Forces. I love the tumble leather look, and it's kind of a mystery under the sweats with that flare look. Up top, I have on room to be a little bit more bright. So I have on this Alice Cooper T. Not my best pickup, but adds a bit of color to this fit. And to end it all, a gray flannel. favorite fits mainly because of the tee every chance i get to wear it i gotta go ahead and take advantage of it a dope ice cube tee from the front to the back i feel like it was executed perfectly lyrics on the back and then on the front you have that crack vintage look for the shorts i have on my trusty north face woven shorts comfortable and reliable if i had to say and to end things with this outfit air max 90s definitely a top five best summer shoe in my opinion An oversized long sleeve and shorts combo is always gonna work. So for the top, I have on this Ironville long sleeve. It's cool because it has a brown tint to it, so it kind of gives off that vintage look. Then for the shorts, dark charcoal gray sweat shorts. This right here, you can never go wrong with. And what contrasts is all the maroon 550s. One of the best GR colorways, if I had to say. For the last outfit, pretty much an everyday fit for me. A clean flannel with these orange and gray hits, as well as a nice heather gray tee under, and the perfect olive green cargo shorts. Has some nice features such as that mesh pocket and the nylon material. My everyday sneaker, the all-terrain Crocs. I feel like the taupe haze colorway is the perfect shade that goes with everything, and the straps really make them stand out. Let me know what you guys think down below as well as something you might want to see next. Consider hitting the sub button if you guys are new. Smash the like button for me and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.